What is the name of the senator after which the discharge uh, after anal sex is named? Uh, what is the story behind it? Uh, Rick Santorum, remember him? He used to be a senator from Pennsylvania. He gave an interview to the AP uh, where he said uh, he compared gay relationships to man on dog, famously, and incest. And what a lot of straight people don't realize about that interview, of course it upset the homos, a lot of straight people don't realize about that interview was that he was arguing not just for the state's right to regulate the private sex lives, the private intimate contact of gay people, but of straight people. In that interview, where he argued that gay people shouldn't be able to get married or have sex without the police kicking down the door, he argued that the state, he also pointed out that it was going to be a tragedy that the Supreme Court overturned sodomy laws because that would mean the state couldn't regulate masturbation. He's fucking nuts, right? <laughs> and a threat to you and your sex lives. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of stra How many straight people? Raise your hand, straight people. You all sit there and you watch the right-wing religious fuckers beat the shit out of us, and you go, oh, that's too bad for them, isn't it? Let's go to Chili's. <laughs> Sucks to be queer. What you don't realize is you're next. They had a march in Washington this year against birth control. They don't think you should have access to birth control. They fought the HPV vaccine every step of the way because they think that you should get cervical, pardon me, they think you should get cervical cancer and die if you are sexually active and a woman. They're after abortion rights, your, ac your right to access to birth control, your right to determine when and how you're going to have sex and with whom. They're after you, your Next, we are the very fabulously attired canaries in the big gay coal mine, but they have an anti-straight agenda that is a longer list, has a longer list of items on it than their anti-gay agenda. Their anti-gay agenda is don't be gay. Their anti-straight agenda is you should only have, be able to have a covenant marriage. You shouldn't have access to abortion services. You shouldn't be able to use birth control. You shouldn't be able to have a potentially life-saving vaccine that will prevent your daughters from developing cervical cancer if they contract a sexually transmitted and sometimes through casual contact transmitted virus that 80% of all adult humans have. They're psycho murderer bigot assholes. And they hate you as much as they hate me. So don't just toddle off to Chili's. Oh, Santorum. <laughs> So anyway, he said that he said they gave that infamous interview, and a Savage Love reader suggested that we come up with a we redefine his last name, make it a sexual term, because it sounded so sort of clinical and Latin, Santorum, and it didn't really mean anything. And I thought that was a brilliant idea, so I put it in the column, and people sent in suggested definitions. Uh, one of my favorites uh, that didn't make the cut was instead of the doctor when you go in for uh, STD screening, instead of the doctor saying, "Do you have any?" Uh, irritation or pain during urination, which is a very long sentence, would just say Santorum. <laughs> and then you could say yes or no. That would just mean Santorum would mean pain during urination. But somebody suggested uh, something that's really kind of perfect, if disgusting, and I'm going to say it out loud now, and it always makes me blush. Um, the frothy mix of lube and fecal matter that is sometimes the byproduct of anal sex. <laughs> Hope you had dinner already.